Class four, then 1650 the trip, then for race number four, which is the first leg of the triple trio, with 12 of them heading to post, headed by Let's Take It Easy, who dropped back into this class. He's a two-time winner in this grade. Tangweer finds himself in class four for the first time. Starlet Knight, barrier 12, could roll forward from there, though. For Apprentice Alfred for a chance. Charity Wings, barrier four. He's gone forward in the past as well. Flash Famous, last start course and distance winner. Shining and runner up behind Flash Famous last time out. They're down to bundle of energy. Eligible for a lower grade. Stays here with a lightweight. He's been in the top four six out of eight times. Bundle of energy, still yet to win though. Tang Mir, Starlet Knight, Young Power, Charity Wings, and Flash Famous are the horses that have been up at Chung Fabra. All right, let's have a look at the speed map here. And Starlit Knight, in a potentially good to slow run race, can work to the lead shortly after going through the first corner and maybe take over from Charity Wings. Shining on, won't be leading. Impeccable Fellow's got a nice draw, as has Tang Mir, so they can posse up. Just wonder what Young Power might do if he gets caught out there a little bit deep from Barrier 10. They may opt to roll forward outside the leader. Flash Famous, he was a subject of a massive bidding plunge last start and it came off. Uh, one at Happy Valley there, so look, he goes nicely here, and you can see he's under a, a decent hold. He's got a good barrier draw, and he hasn't taken a step backwards. Uh, impeccable fellow, he's third up now. I thought he's just about ready to win. He's one of 53 before he gets a nice draw from barrier number two. He goes nicely, does impeccable fellow, uh, so he looks pretty ready. His body weight's up a bit, but I think it might be a bit, bit of muscle he's put on in the off season. And electric lightning, I thought he wasn't a bad piece of work from him, and. David Ferraris has got his horses going pretty well at the moment and he stretches out nicely with Lowell Hewitt tonight. All right, OK, let's start off with some winning form. I need to take a check on the TT, though, as well. Uh, we've got a bonus here of in the region of $10 million, so an estimated dividend it should be around the $18 million mark, just over $10 million going into the fund, so $18 million the expected uh, return. Flash Famous and Shining On is where we start. Uh, Chad Schofield keeps them out. He jumps from barrier three. Yes, he won first up and Shining On went into this race second up and stepped up to the longer trip, drew five. Uh, Joe Moreira is going to take over from Vincent Ho here. So if you're looking for bankers, is it one of these two? Actually, that was Shining On running second there. We spoke about magnetism earlier on, but there was a race with Universal Go Go as well oh. involving magnetism. But um, those two, I think, have to be sort of considered as possible bankers for your TT first leg. One of the two, anyway. Yeah, I, I like Shining On because he was a little bit uh, awkward at the start, mm. wasn't he? He did come out a little bit and lost a little bit of uh, length. And with that, uh, he, I thought he was hit the line really well. And he's been very consistent, that horse. Whereas Flash Famous probably hasn't been... Well, I'm saying that Flash Famous has been reasonably consistent as well. So. He has, but I think two seasons ago he won his only race at Shah Tin, and then last season he didn't do a great deal, and he sort of looked like he'd found his mark, but the win first up suggested maybe there is a bit more there. Yeah. All right, OK, that's uh, Flash Famous. Then what about Tang Mir, who's dropped down the ratings now to find himself in, in Class 4? Um, this is his last start effort behind Owner Star. Yeah, he's trickled a long way down now to be in this grade for the first time. I thought this run behind Owner Star was decent enough. We're going to see Owner Star and a lot of these horses um, later on tonight uh, on the night again. Not beaten that far. He from the gate, he's got the weight to carry, but he may have a touch of class on some of these. Carry a one as well. He's another one I wouldn't leave out. Uh, yeah, yeah I've, I've put him in on a minor line tag. Mir, he's getting down towards a winning, winnable rating now. You should think so, yeah. That's uh, Tang Mir, the Franco out of a Zabil mare. Impeccable Fellow is uh, next. Now, he's around his sort of winning mark behind King's Race uh, last time. He's a course and distance winner. He's third up and he's coming here to uh, Happy Valley where he did win his race at Happy Valley. His two runs have been at Shards and I thought uh, this wasn't a bad run, but he did run fourth. His win, he did win here, he won off a rating of 53. He's rated 51. Barrier two, he's 16 to one at the moment, so I'm happy to make him my long shot for the minute. Yeah, I... Eventually put him in for fifth, but I certainly see where you're coming from, Paul. Um, yeah, from that good barrier, he can get a nice run in the race um, and definitely another one it's hard to leave out of exotics. All right. So Favourite, though, Paul, is shining on at this stage. He's two to one. Yeah, I've got to, I'm going to go with a bit of value here, which is impeccable fellow. I think he's just about ready to win. And at uh, 16 to one, he'll be my each-way shot. Shining on would be the banker type, though, for the I think for the um, triple trio Tang Mir in there. Now, Starlet Knight is... Got a light weight. There's not many leaders. He's drawn 12. He can go to the front. Has one off a rating of 54. He's rated 57 with a claim. So I thought I'd throw him in there for fourth. Just ahead of Bundle of Energy, who's another one that can pop up oh. without winning. 
Eight, ten, two, four, but I went eight each way for this race. You'd be brave to leave the bundle out of exotics exactly. in your TT. You yeah. uh, you wouldn't get much sleep that night if you left him out and he ran <laughs> third in the TT and knocked you out. Yeah, exactly. I'm with Paul. I think shining on probably the banker with Joe Marrera to ride. Flash famous may have improved a little bit in the off-season and come back well. Tang Mir looks well drawn. Bundle of energy is really far away and he's got a lightweight and a good barrier. Um, so they are the ones that I considered. I also uh, threw in there in the exotics, impeccable fellow in my trio. Paul made a good case for Starlet Night. So are they the numbers, the half a dozen you probably got to work around? Yeah, I'm not Hopefully. too far away. For bundle of energy is a must include. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You, you Fourth most yourself. times, but it's dead heated for third <laughs> last time. Uh, yeah, Starlet Knight from the front could be dangerous as well with the 10 pounds off his back. Okay, that's the first leg of the TT.